What's up my beautiful babes? You are looking so gorgeous today. There's always one question I get asked after I'm fully done styling, cutting, and coloring my client's hair. And that question is, how did you do that? How did you style my hair like that? People think it's some kind of crazy voodoo magic that all of us hairstylists have that we can blow out the hair beautifully and get rid of all of your frizz and make those perfect beautiful beach waves or straighten it till it's silky, soft, and smooth and shiny. It's no voodoo magic, girl. It's just good technique, okay? And if you just watch today's video and follow along with me, you will learn how to give yourself a perfect, flawless, professional-looking blow at home to yourself. It is not that hard. You just need to put the right skills in place in order to get the correct results that you want. So today I'm going to teach you all the techniques that I have learned throughout the past almost, I'm going to say like 10 years of doing blow dries. I also worked at a blow dry salon briefly, like five years ago and working there and doing 10 to 15 blowouts a day really really taught me how to do the perfect blowout on any hair texture or hair type. So I'm going to teach you about the kinds of brushes I like to use, the kinds of products I like to use, the kind of sectioning that I like to use when doing a blowout and a bunch more. So if you guys want to learn how to do the perfect blowout on yourself at home then stay tuned and let's get it started. All right, so here is my model for today. Say what's up. Hi guys, what's up? She's ready to get her hair done. Her name is Viola. By the way, you guys, everything I'm using in today's video is gonna be linked below. So let me go over the supplies real quick before I start. We're gonna need a comb, just like any kind of comb, but like the combs closer bristles on this side and then the farther away ones on this side for nice sectioning. Then I have some clips like this. These are really good for when we set the blowout. That way you don't get any creases on the hair when you put the clips in it. So these are amazing. These are by Harry Josh. And then if you don't have those, you don't want to spend the money on them, they're kind of expensive. You can also use like a dumbbell clip, just a regular like clip like this. They make creases in the hair, but they work. And then we have brushes. You have like three options really. You have a brush like this, a flat brush. You have a ceramic brush and you have a boar bristle natural brush. The differences between all of these are, I usually use a flat brush when I'm trying to do a very flat laid silky smooth straight look uh, with no frizz this because they are better for smoothing out frizz but I find that these are just a lot easier to use in general. Because they are ceramic, they heat up. That way you can make a nice wave or curl in the hair and have some nice body and really, really, really straighten that hair out and pull out that wave. This is definitely my favorite. Then we have a natural boar bristle brush, which is great, like I keep saying, to get rid of frizz, but this does take a lot more work and you have to really pull out the hair and keep going and keep going and keep going. But the end result is definitely, definitely beautiful. So if you have a lot of frizz, in your hair, the boar bristle would be great for you. But if not, I think this is universally great for 90% of people out there. And then of course you can also have a brush that has the ceramic bristles and the boar bristles combined. But I don't know, I just haven't really found that those really work that well. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I don't really love them. And the longer your hair is, the shorter your hair is, the bigger or the smaller the brush you wanna use is. You guys know the deal, if you use a big brush, it'll give you less of a curl. That's basically it, okay? That's just like the real basics. I could keep going and going about this, but I'm not gonna bore you. I probably already am. So yeah, and then of course we're gonna need a blow dryer. I am gonna use the Dyson. I've talked about this many times in many videos. It is expensive, but it works amazingly and never breaks and it's very lightweight. And then I will show you guys the products I'm using as I go along. So I definitely recommend if you're doing this at home to yourself and you're getting out of the shower or whatever and you wash your hair, definitely keep it wrapped in a towel for at least 10, 15, 20 minutes or as long as you possibly can because you really wanna get that excess moisture out before you blow dry. Dry, that's gonna really cut down on the time it takes to blow dry your hair. So I'm gonna just wet her down today. And so after we have that wet or decently towel dried if you're getting out of the shower. The first step we're gonna do is put some product in, okay? So generally I, across the board, like to use some kind of smoothing product if I'm just doing a nice blowout because, you know, girls, you girls out there, you like your hair soft. That sounds kind of obvious, but a lot of products do put a lot of hold in the hair and it feels kind of gel-like. So I just use a nice smoothing product. This Kerastase product that I is like my holy grail called Discipline Fluidazine. It's just like a spray smoothing serum. You're actually supposed to spray it in your hands, but I don't do that. If you want to do that, you can, but I just do a very light spray like this on all the hair. Done. And then I brush it through so it gets everywhere. 
And you guys, if you're wondering what's going on with this color, yeah, I colored her hair pink ombre using only my mouth, because that's my life. You can see the video linked below. And then on her ends, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, serum, just because usually people just have really dry ends. If your hair is long and all, your ends are probably crusty. So I'm gonna use a uh, Nutritive Olea Relax, just a very little amount of this, because a little goes a long way with this product. It's very heavy. I'm gonna rub it around my hands and focus just on the ends like this. Work it around the front of her hairline because usually people have a lot of frizz up here. The hairline is very important to get a lot of product on. Just don't overdo it because it can easily get greasy. Okay, and now I'm gonna do something a little bit weird and different. I am gonna use Invisible Dry Shampoo by IGK. That way she has a little bit of a product at her root and it'll give her nice volume and texture when the blowout is done. But if you do not want any volume or texture at your roots, just skip this step. But it's good if your hair is extra flat and you can never get spotty or volume in it, this will work out for you very, very well. Just random sections, just going across, and do like one or two passes with the dry shampoo. Don't put too much, just give you nice volume. Especially right here at the crown, it's very important to put this done, done, and next step. This step is really important. This is the step that I see people missing out on a lot, and it's gonna really speed up the time it takes for you to blow out your hair. You're gonna wanna get 90 to 95% of the moisture out of your hair before you even start using the round brush, okay? This is gonna depend a little bit on your hair texture. If it's like super, super curly, you're gonna wanna get out like 80% of the moisture. Definitely don't do 100 because you won't be able to get that curl out when you start to uh, pull it with the round brush. So universally, I'd recommend just doing like 90% dry. That's a very important tip right there to save a lot of time on your blowout at home. To get volume in her hair, we're gonna blow dry in the opposite direction the way her hair grows. So we're gonna blow dry this way, rough dry this way, rough dry this way, rough dry the hair forward, okay? Let's do it. You can also at home just flip your head upside down and start blow drying it. That's also an easy way to do it. Perfect, so she is now 90% dry already, and then we're gonna give her another brush just so that all those tangles go away. Her, her hair is very, very tangly, so. And here is the next most important part. We're gonna section her hair. It doesn't need to be perfect, just, just we're gonna section though. Oh girl, she's tangled. If you're wondering if I'm this rough with actual clients, the answer is yes. You're gonna pick your desired part. I'm gonna do the middle, but this will work anyway. So the most important thing is to start around the hairline because that is where most of the frizz and curl is and that is where most of the hair shows. So what we're gonna do is called a halo section. It's literally just a circle around your entire head. That gives you a halo. Not too, too much hair. I'd say like an inch in the front and all the way around you can keep going. Doesn't need to be perfect once again. And then you can just brush that hair out in your hand and clip it up. That is a halo section, okay? This is gonna be really good for you guys with curly hair out there or wavy hair or any hair at all. So we're gonna start right in the front over here. Because she has kind of like the situation where her hair wants to go this way, I'm gonna blow dry her hair with her part there. But if you really want a lot of volume right in the front of your hair, I would blow dry this section up like this instead of out like this. I'm gonna go out today, but you can do whatever you want at home. And before we start, let's just do the basics of blow drying. Always keep your blow dryer on the back of your brush like this, in the direction of the way your hair grows. You're always gonna wanna follow the brush with the blow dryer like this. Don't put it like this or you're gonna get frizz everywhere, okay? So I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna blow this out right here and then I will explain after how I did it.
So what I just did first was get all of that frizz out of the top section of her hair and make sure that her hair is going in the right direction. So I literally put the blow dryer almost on her scalp towards the bottom of her hair and just really went up close to that scalp. That's super important to get all that frizz out. And then you put the blow dryer behind the brush like this and you rock it out. This technique rocking it is gonna create an amazing, beautiful, bouncy wave like this. And then you can ravel it back up, blow dry it, ravel it out, blow dry it, ravel it back up, blow dry it. Alrighty, let's do it. One other thing that's super important is to really pulverize the ends because that is where a lot of that moisture sits and a lot of that frizz will stay in it. If you do not smooth these out enough, it'll just, you won't have that perfect polished blowout. That is the difference between a professional blowout and a person doing it at home who has no idea what they're doing is those ends, they have to be beautiful and smooth. So just keep on working them until they're really, really smooth and get all the way to the end. All right, now that we're done with that, I have it all raveled up like that. We're gonna gently pull it out and then comb it out with your hands a little bit, not too much because you have moisture in your hands, you don't wanna pull up the curl too much. You're gonna ravel it back up the same way it was on the brush. All right, and then we're gonna set it like this. And again, if you don't want too much volume in your hair or curl, you don't have to do this part, this is optional. And then I put that clip right in the front right there. All right, that is our first section done. I'm gonna repeat that on both sides, all around your head, and then I'll show you guys what our next step is. And over here, super important part, again, pull this hair super taut, okay? Really, really put tension on that and then get really close to her hairline and put a lot of heat right there to get all that wave and kinky, curly, nasty mess out of the front hairline. And I like to alternate the curl direction. So this one is going forward and the one on top is going backwards. That's gonna make it so the curls don't attach to each other when you let it all down. You don't want a big clumpy curl, it's just not cute. Alternating the curl is gonna give you more body. There we go, that is the first two done. Look at those beautiful, beautiful little pink curl set. Gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I like to do three on each side, should be enough. It's gonna really cut down on your time, not doing too many sections. Don't overdo it. Definitely make sure you work the hair slowly too. I think people really go fast too much. Just go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Another way of releasing the hair is going like this, wrapping it out. And then you can leave it like this to set on its own, but I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna pin this up. And hair actually takes about 20 minutes to completely cool off. So. Bam, okay, so that is the halo section all finished. Now, moving on to the top of our hair. We are going to section it out. Let's see here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna section out a little square up here. And this is the crown section that's gonna have all the volume in it. That is the crown section. We're gonna pin up everything else around it. So get that out of our way, just like that. And we're gonna take zigzag sections. That way when you release the hair out of these clips, you don't have any harsh lines. So just a light zigzag, harsh zigzag, whatever you wanna do, whatever you're feeling that day. All right, I'm not judging. And then we're just gonna make sure we blow the hair up straight and do the same kind of curl thing and then set the curl again. And definitely make sure you are blow drying at the root on every different side. So we're gonna get the front, we're gonna get the sides, we're gonna get the other side, and then we're gonna get the back. This is easier to do on a client, so you don't really have to do that on yourself. Mainly the front is the most important. Leaving a little bit of frizz in the back of the hair is actually not a bad thing. It ends up giving you more volume and it doesn't go down during the day because you had that little bit of frizz underneath protecting your hair from going flat, but the front of it is smooth. That's all that really matters. That is the top all done. Now moving on to the last three sections. There's gonna be one on this side. You can always do like zigzag sections. One over here, one on the other side, and then one directly down the back. So that is the next section right in the back, and then these are the two other ones. All right. I'm gonna do this back one off camera because I don't really have any way of showing you. So it's just the same as the other few sections we already did.
All right, so there we are, the finished set. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 sections. There are 11 sections in total on her head. You do not have to do 11 sections at home. You can do like six. This is how I like to do a nice blowout. And now I just do a light, light coating of hairspray and then we'll release all of the curls and we'll shake it out. And then I'll show you guys how we style it a bit. Definitely make sure you let this cool down before you take it out. You can leave it in as long as you want. You can sleep in this. At least if you're in a hurry, let it cool down for five to 10 minutes. That is very important because the curl is not gonna form unless you let it sit for a little bit. Or you can take a blow dryer on the cool setting and just do a blast of cool air real quick just to get this really, really setting quick. And then let me get the hairspray. Just very, very light mist of hairspray, just like that. All right, now comes my favorite part of all, releasing these curls. So we're just gonna take them all out one by one. It's pretty self-explanatory. And just let them go wherever they want. Ugh, there's no better feeling like taking a set out like this. Ooh, look at those beautiful soft waves with no frizz, baby. That's just how we like it. Take all these out. Stunning. You can transform any hair, no matter how damaged it is, if you do this set correctly, it's gonna give you gorgeous, gorgeous, fabulous volume. Now a little trick I like to do before I really break through my hands is put just a little bit more oil on your hands. That way it goes through the hair while you're raking it out. If you're doing this on your own head, I would just flip your head upside down and shake it. But otherwise, if you're doing it on a client, you can just go like this. Yes, the sound effects are necessary. You definitely have to do that. Okay, this is just breaking it up and then we're gonna reform all the curls. But you don't want any lines showing where you section the hair. Break it all up. This is a super important part. Don't be scared to do this. Um, hi. <laughs> can leave it like this. It's awesome. It's a very light tousled wave. That is some volume up there in the crown. I mean, we can flip her. It looks a little ridiculous. And you know guys, this is, this is a mannequin, so it's not really like what's gonna happen totally in real life. Um, you're not gonna get these harsh lines like she has. She does have a plastic scalp, don't tell her, but she does. But that's why you get these really, really harsh lines right here. You know, you can always just comb these bangs down nice. Uh, if you want like a perfect, perfect blow, you're just gonna take these sections, do a little tiny comb action, and just reform the wave with your hands, just like that. All the waves are going in different directions, so they're not really gonna hold too tightly. Give a nice little tease to the crown. Dun, 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 like that, comb that out. Reform that wave. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a blow. That is how you properly do one. Look at this nice little crown area of volume she has, beautiful. Check out what an ethereal goddess she looks like now. So fab. And let me tell you, she has some shitty hair. So there you guys go. That is the majority of the techniques I have to share with you today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informative. And I hope you guys can take these practices home with you. You probably already are home, so maybe not take them home with you, but use them at home. Definitely check out my latest merchandise collection, the I'm Extra collection, available at fanjoy.co slash brat. That'll also be linked below for you. And one more thing, give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace!